Alrighty, traders, George here, and time for a look at the week in review. Just a couple things to go through, so let's jump into it. Uh, for starters, the trade calls at the beginning of the week for the futures markets, we had oil, gold, and the NASDAQ. The oil setup simply did not materialize. We had already sold off quite a bit by the time the call went out, and we just never set up uh, around the area where we were trading correctly for the balance beam signal. We did ultimately have a signal later in the week as an alert. For the initial setups for the NASDAQ and gold, we had this to work with. For gold, we had this, uh, essentially selling off after making some new highs and looking to trade above or below this balance beam area here. And then for the NASDAQ, we had something similar where we were pressed up off of a rally and at another balance beam looking to reconcile that above or below. And what transitioned uh, later in the week for these trade calls for gold looked like this. Uh, we actually got long and then stopped out and then got long at the same level again and stops were out in favor for a gain. Incredible volatility with gold. I don't know if you happen to be watching the gold market this week, but uh, these moves were pretty energetic and quite volatile. You can see here that this huge drop after making this high here went below the entry level and then finally rallied up and it actually found support at target one and made it beyond target two. So multi-contract traders poised to be in the right direction there and picking up quite a bit of extra gain. But for the single contract trader, $180 there, one for two. And for the NASDAQ, uh, we had a long that was stopped in favor for 10 points. We had a short that rolled over for a complete stop out. And then we had another long over that 46.65 level that went to target and picked up 24 and a half points there. So we were two for three there with 19.5 uh, points. That's $390 per contract. And another one where there was a lot of volatility and ultimately price taking back over that target one led us up to that target two. So uh, for the multi-contract traders, they're able to take advantage of the balance beam strategy here, which is always involving small stops and big targets. There's 68.5 points on the target two there. Single contract traders though, 390 bucks out of the NASDAQ. And then later in the week, we had one signal for oil that was stopped for a $50 loss. So the way it shapes up on the balance beam spreadsheet is this. We are here at the bottom. These are the trades that uh, materialize. So the one for oil at a loss, uh, two for three here for the NASDAQ and one for two for gold. Uh, all in all, it put up $520 uh, for just these few trades here. But slowly adding to our equity curve here, and I just broke 53,000, gang, by the way. So congrats to all of you sticking to your trade plans here and following these balance beam signals. If you want to subscribe to these signals, use the link at the bottom of the video, and you can get more information on how to do that. And if you want to learn to use these charts and do exactly what you've seen develop here, come up with your own analysis and setups and signals for other markets. You can do that as well by being a balance beam trader and using the exact same model that's driven all the gains here. All right, gang, that's it for now. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you back in training on Tuesday.